Heidi. Hi, Hi guys, it's Hannah and Heidi. Good morning. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about a lesson that deals with collecting your thoughts. Um, so kind of thinking about what we say before we say it. So to kind of start off with today, um, we want you to think about a few things. So I'm going to kind of go through um, some what ifs and I want you to think if this has ever happened uh, to you. Okay, so the first one, has someone ever has someone ever said anything to you that was rude? Okay. Has someone ever lied to you? Has someone ever talked to you when you were trying to pay attention to something else? Has someone ever said something to you that hurt your feelings on accident? Has someone ever said something to you that hurt your feelings on purpose? Have you ever been rude to somebody else? Have you ever lied? Have you ever said something that has hurt somebody else's feelings? Have you ever said something and then regretted it and wished that you haven't that you hadn't ever said it? So we've all had someone say something to us that we did not like, and we may have said things to others that they may have not liked. In many situations, it is really important for us to stop and think before we speak. Just take a minute. We need to collect our thoughts before we say something that might hurt someone else. Do you want me to do that? Sure. Um, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So what are some things that you can do to um, ask yourself before you say something? Or what are some things that you can do to think through before you say something to somebody else? So if you're in a situation with somebody, you can always ask yourself, is it necessary? So does that mean, do you need to be the person that is saying this? Is this something that you need to take that responsibility for and that you have to be the one saying it? Um, are you the one that needs to say what you feel you're needing to say at that time? Does it, something else you can ask is, does it need to be said right here, right now? So what does that mean? Does that mean that what you want to say, do you have to say it at that specific moment? Does it have to be said at that right exact time? Maybe it's something that you can wait and say later. Maybe it's something that you have to say after you've thought about it, after you've cooled off if you're upset, or maybe it's just something that you need to say later. But is it something that you need to say right here and right now? And also when you're thinking about if it's necessary, does it have to be said or do you just want to say it? I think that's a really big important one is um, we talk a lot about and we have before about needs and wants, things that we need and things that we want. 
Well, this is kind of thinking about when we're saying things, is this something that we want to say or is it something that we really have to say? And that's something that we really have to stop and think about. There are things that we have to say. Well, maybe it's to tell somebody how we're feeling, if we're sick, if we're not feeling well. Um, or is it something that you just want to say? Is it something that at that moment in time you just want to say it because you think it's going to make you feel better? Uh, maybe you just want to say it because you're feeling upset or angry. But is this something that you really have to say or is it just something that you want to say? To really think about it that way. So another question you can always ask yourself is, is this true? So you don't want to say something if it's not true, obviously. So make sure you have the facts before you speak. So here are some examples for you to answer. Should you say it right away or filter it out? What would you say? You smell a bad odor. The person is sitting next to you is sitting next to you, has bad body odor. You think he stinks and needs to wear deodorant. Would you say it or would you filter it out? Heidi, what do you think you should do in this situation? Well, in this situation, I, I would want to filter it out. Um, if I was sitting next to somebody and I had a bad body odor, I think I would want them to let me know about it, but I wouldn't want them to do it rudely. Because mm -hmm. sometimes that might hurt my feelings if somebody told me that I smelled. How would you want somebody to tell you that you smelled? Um, maybe they could tell me in private. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they could say, I'm not sure if you forgot to wear deodorant today. And maybe I did forget, instead of maybe saying that I always smell or be mean to me about it. Um, oh, I thought I kicked you. <laughs> um, but I think the biggest part would be to make sure they tell me in private. I wouldn't want everybody else to know. So this kind of goes back to does it need to be said right here, right now? If we're in the classroom and it's a busy situation, it could probably wait a little bit until you have time maybe during break and you're able to pull them aside and be like, hey, just an FYI. Did you forget to wear deodorant today? That's a good point, yes. Do you want me to read that one or do you want to read it? Up 